Northumberland is a simply stunning county and part of its charm is that so much of it remains completely unsung. There's no place quite like it in Britain, at times it feels like you've got it completely to yourself. I'm touring here with my wife and two young children. This one's Joe and his little sister Iris is asleep in the car. We've chosen to base ourselves at Hexham, which is near to Hadrian's Wall, which as I'm sure you know, stretches from coast to coast. It's fabulous walking country, there's history every step of the way, and this little boy loves to learn about the Romans. We've just arrived and pitched up at Fallowfield Dean Campsite near Hexham. As you can see, it's a lovely wooded site and there are lots of little nooks and crannies for the kids to explore safely. We're going to have a look around. Fallowfield Dean is set in beautiful, secluded woodland near the lovely market town of Hexham. It's just a short distance from the World Heritage Site listed Hadrian's Wall. Be sure to follow the site's own directions. From the A69, follow the sign for Acombe, Bellingham and Rothbury on the A6079 and it's signed from there. Don't rely on your sat-nav. It doesn't pinpoint the site's location, and in my case, it took me up some rather narrow roads that involved a fair bit of awkward caravan reversing. Entry to the site is down a rather narrow single track road with passing places, and indeed navigating your cart and caravan outfit around the whole site takes concentration and care. That said, it's worth it. The setting is simply gorgeous. Mountain ash and silver birch line the pitches, each of which has 16 amp electric hookup. Most are hard standing. It's a fabulous natural playground for children. Touring areas are separated into individual groves and given Roman names such as Brutus and Caesar. There are 25 touring pitches in total and 124 seasonal pitches, plus a few tent pitches and privately owned static caravans. The site is open from early March until the start of November. And impressively, site fees remain at under £20 per night for car and caravan plus two adults. That's even in high season. Children under five go free and dogs are welcome but must be kept on leaves. There is though a signposted dog walk from the site. The site shop features a good range of food and basic camping necessities, including a gas exchange facility. There's also seating here so it doubles as an informal coffee shop. Site managers John and Lynn Miller are extremely friendly and couldn't do more to make you feel welcome and to enjoy your stay. There's a barrier code for entry and exit and you're handed a swipe card on check-in at reception. The central wash blocks are separated into men's and women's and each has a security code for access. Inside the facilities are clean and well maintained if not as obviously state of the art as at some sites. There are plenty of toilets and shower cubicles offering free showers to accommodate a site of this size in high season. There's also a laundrette. There are clearly signed fresh and waste water points, an outdoors chemical toilet disposal point and a separate motorhome service point. We spoke to caravanners at Fallowfield Dean to find out more. Oh well we like this site because it's got lots of trees, no concrete lying about and it's not regimented, there's little sections about it. You know, we don't feel like there's hundreds of rows of caravans and we've tried these kind of sites before and although they are very kind of clean and things, it's too regimented for us. We like this kind of countryside really. Um, well, this is the third season uh, we've been here uh, in Fallowfield Dean. Um, we are 30 minutes away by car. Um, it, it saves us uh, the towing piece so we don't have to get off site by Sunday morning at 12 o'clock. Uh, we can go home at 7 o'clock in the evening if we want to. Um, the, the reason why we've came here is we used to come here as uh, towing um, but we've actually got family on the site as well so um, we, we've all now got seasonal pitches. Um, we, we come along on a Friday, um, we go home on a Sunday stroke Monday um, and it's, it's absolutely ideal for the children to run free and climb trees and make dens and, and do what little, little boys do, so perfect. Now we mentioned there's a handful of holiday homes and lots of touring caravans pitched for seasonal use and you can really understand why. Fallowfield Dean is a quite lovely bolt hole away from the pressures of modern life.
Our second caravan park is the Causey Hill Holiday Park, which is also just outside Hexham. It's one of three parks in the north of England that make up the Daily Holiday Parks Group and, as you can see, it offers simply fantastic views of the rolling Northumberland Hills. Causey Hill is a beautifully maintained park that's open all year except in February. It's largely given over to holiday homes, but rather uniquely the very best views are reserved for the touring pitches. What's more, they're keenly priced at £20 for car, caravan and two adults all year round. There are 42 touring pitches in total, each on generous hard standing. They're serviced with fresh water and waste points, as well as a 10 amp electric hookup. And best of all, they're on the upper tiers of the park, overlooking the valley below. The touring area is currently undergoing major development work. The existing wash block is well kept, but a bit long in the tooth and also a bit of a hike from the new touring pitches. So a new state-of-the-art wash block is under construction and was part finished during our stay. Many of the touring pitches are gently sloping, so you'll need to bring wooden blocks or similar for your van's leg steadies. The whole caravan park spreads over 19 acres, with six acres of private woodland, which includes a dog walk. All this has helped this site to achieve a silver award in the David Bellamy Caravan Park Conservation Award Scheme. There's a small play area for children and plenty of green space on which to kick a football around away from the caravans. The entrance and exit to the park are barriered for extra security and peace of mind. There's also Wi-Fi throughout the site with vouchers available from reception. Let's find out from caravanners at Causey Hill what's great about this site. You come here because it's nice and peaceful, it's half an hour up the road and it's just as if you're you could be far away, it doesn't seem as if you're just like 25 minutes away. Hexham Town's lovely, it's a nice old fashioned place and plenty of walks. Nice for dogs and just peaceful. Causes Hill is undergoing some major work to bring it in line with the best touring caravan sites in the area. And once it's finished, we reckon the views alone will keep it busy throughout the year. We've had a fantastic time here in Northumberland. It's truly a unique county. We've explored forts, visited Roman ruins, and really enjoyed the great outdoors. It's, it's truly a destination for the whole family. Now, Northumberland is really a forgotten corner of England, and I, for one, hope it stays that way outside of caravanning circles. <laughs>